Hey y'all, what's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. This is five minute lesson number three and this one's all about bending and vibrato. So right out of the gate, I gotta apologize. I haven't produced one of these five minute lessons for a couple years now and uh, <laughs> it wasn't my intention. It takes so long in between lessons. So I'll try and do them on a more regular basis from here on out. Okay, so bending and vibrato. Um, such a huge part of you know, any guitar player's personality on the instrument is their bending and vibrato. No two players do it the same, really. And, um, you know, it's just a, a really, really big part of developing your own sound is getting this together. Uh, you know, I clearly remember teaching a guitar lesson a number of years ago to a guy, and uh, he, he didn't quite have this, uh, this nailed yet, but he was working really hard on it. And he came in one week, and I was playing some chord progression. He started soloing on top of it. And he hit a note, bent it. It was perfectly in tune. It sounded great. And then he started to vibrato it. And I stopped him and I said, dude, you sound like you've been playing five years longer than last week when you came in. You know, it was just amazing to me. And a light bulb went off in my head in that moment. I was like, wow, it's a really, really big part of any guitar player's development is getting this together. So uh, it's kind of a rudimentary subject, I guess. So if you already know how to do this really well, you, this might not be the video for you. But uh, if it's something that you think you can work on, uh, cool, keep on watching. So uh, this is the uh, uh, G blues scale, and this is what we're going to work with today. <laughs> just like to work in G blues because it's, a, it's a, a great scale to, to bend. Uh, so, okay, um, playing the uh, high E string at the third fret. Okay, that's going to give you the root note, G. What I want to do now is, using your third finger, I want to go down to the uh, sixth fret, okay, on the second string, hit that note, and we're going to bend it up a whole step to match the note G on the first string. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just bend, hold the note, then start to vibrato it a bit. What you want to do is experiment with holding the note there, and uh, then when you vibrato, you want to, uh, you know, you can try slower vibrato or faster vibrato, but the one thing you don't want to do is get this sound going. Where you're falling off of the pitch, okay? You've got to release the note a little bit and always come right back up to that G. That just takes a minute to get together that strength. Uh, um, you know, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the muscles going in your left hand, once you get it, it's it's the, it's in there, and you'll be you'll be off to the races. Okay, so let's try the uh, the third string now, bending the note C. Okay, on the fifth fret, we're gonna match the note D. Okay, on the third fret of the second string. So. Okay, once again, just hold it there for a minute and then give it some vibrato. Make sure you can hold it up there. Not fall off the pitch. Now, um, since we're working in G blues, it's also important to note you can bend this C note just up a half step, not a full whole step, and bend it up to the C sharp. It's also a cool thing to bend all the way up a whole step and then fall off to the half step note and then come all the way back down. And you can either pick the pitch in the middle or not. You can play like Joe Walsh. Right, um, but that's a that's a really great sound bending that note, you know, and p playing with it, playing with also the half step as well as the whole step. Okay, let's try uh, the uh, the B flat on uh, the third fret, okay, of the third string. Now we're gonna bend this note with our second finger, okay, and it goes up a whole step. And because you're bending with your second finger, you don't have quite as much strength there, but it's kind of a cool sound because it's, it's a little bit harder, so you got to work harder at it, and that kind of comes through when you're playing, if you vibrato especially. You know, to hold it up there is a little bit tougher, but it's cool. Okay, you can also bend um, the second fret, the note A, okay? Uh, pull it down. Kind of a cool sound. It's outside of the, the G blues scale, but it's it's fair game because it, now you're playing in Dorian mode. So. Okay, so we've tried bending all these notes. Up to G and uh, the C up to the D. The C sharp. And then uh, bending the B flat up to the C. 
or the A up to the B flat. Just want to make sure you've got all that together and that you can bend them right up to the pitch and then it sounds cool. Okay, move up to the second string now and play the note G, okay, on the eighth fret. With your third finger, let's try bending that up all the way to the B flat, okay? So this is a distance of three semitones or three frets if you like. Big bend, but it sounds great. Um, requires a lot of strength, but it's cool and really rewarding once you get it. Uh, you can also bend this note just up a whole step and get up to A. There I did the three pitches, B flat, A, and then back down to G. Great sound. Okay, thanks for watching 5 Minute Lesson number 3, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.